Scores of people have died in a recent outbreak of the Ebola virus raging through Africa. Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone all have confirmed cases. Ebola virus disease is a severe, often fatal illness in humans that has a mortality rate of 60 to 90 percent. Um, there's a current outbreak uh, in Africa, in fact in West Africa, which is very unique. Uh, most outbreaks of Ebola have occurred in Central Africa. Um, and they've been relatively contained to smaller defined areas. While it's a, a known a species of Ebola, it's a different, uh, somewhat different strain. Unfortunately, doctors have no effective vaccines or therapies. During the past decade, researchers have made significant progress and vaccines have worked in non-human primates. Thomas Geispert, a virologist at the University of Texas Medical Branch at Galveston, has studied the Ebola virus since 1988 and is currently involved in vaccine research and development. The NIH recently gave Geispert's lab a five-year, $26 million grant to research three of the most promising treatments for Ebola. These include a man-made antibody treatment, a promising Canadian drug from Tecmira Pharmaceuticals shown to protect monkeys from Ebola, and a vaccine that can be used both to prevent infection and also treat it. In my laboratory, we're currently developing medical countermeasures against Ebola, and these would include both vaccines and small molecule inhibitors like siRNAs and things like that uh, as treatments. We've had great success over the last few years in protecting laboratory animals uh, against Ebola in Marburg. While we've made great progress in the lab, we're still a few years away from really having anything that could be used in one of these outbreaks. The National Institutes of Health will launch an early stage trial of an experimental vaccine against Ebola in September. They are working with the Food and Drug Administration to fast track the vaccine into a phase one clinical trial. UTMB Health, working together to work wonders.